Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Waller's Wallet. And in this video, we're going to take a look at emergency funds and how much you should set aside for your emergency fund, if you should be using your Roth IRA as an emergency fund, and I'll even give you some tips on how you can build up that emergency fund. Now, if you want a simple way to help out the channel, consider hitting that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn that bell notification on as well so you don't miss out on future videos. Now having an emergency fund, it can really reduce the stress or the anxiety you may have in the event that there is an emergency. Because the funny thing about emergencies is you don't know when you're going to have them. But by being prepared, it can really give you peace of mind and reduce the need to use credit cards with high interest rates or possibly just ignore the issue because you can't afford it. So how much money should you have in your emergency fund? Now everyone's financial situation is going to be different. And for some people, making their emergency fund is going to be easier, and other people, they have just enough money to pay the bills each month, and they can't afford to set aside money to build up this fund. And how much money you'll put away in this is gonna really just vary on the person. Now, I think putting away between three to six months of living expenses is a good amount for your emergency fund. And if you're someone who wants to be super prepared just in case, then one year set aside would be fantastic. Now, one year might sound too extreme for some people, and there are others who may want a full year just to feel more secure. And I've actually kept a year's worth of expenses just in case because I never want to be unprepared. Because even though my wife and I don't worry about job security, at the end of the day, everyone is expendable at their jobs, and you don't want to be caught with your guard down, which is a big reason why we are working towards our financial independence. But having three to six months on hand is solid because that's going to buy you some time if you are looking for a new job or reduce the stress if you had an emergency of some kind. Because if you have an emergency, not knowing how you'll pay for it is only going to add to that stress because you never know when you're going to lose your job and how long you'll be out of work or what other surprises could come up, such as a large medical bill, your car has some super costly repairs, or maybe your washer and dryer break on the same day and you need to replace both of them. But the key piece to an emergency fund is to only use it for an emergency. You don't want to think about it as accessible money because it should only be accessed if you absolutely need it. But if you're setting aside this much money, this could be thousands of dollars. So instead of just letting your money sit in a bank account doing absolutely nothing, should you consider using your Roth IRA as your emergency fund and should you consider investing that money? Now this answer is definitely gonna vary depending on who you ask. And there are gonna be some people who say absolutely not, you only keep it as cash. And there are others who use their Roth IRA as their main emergency fund. Now for years, I was always told, you keep an emergency fund in cash. And that's what I've always done. Because having liquid cash means it is there for you if you need it for any reason. Now, I'm also a big fan of the Roth IRA. It has so many benefits, but when it comes to accessing the money in this account, you can withdraw your contributions that you made to it without penalty. So if you contributed $6,000 in 2020 and $6,000 in 2021, then you have access to $12,000 of money without any penalty because that is the money that you have put into your Roth IRA. This does not mean you have access to the gains though that it is made without penalty unless you meet those age requirements. Now, just because you can take that money out does not mean you should. Because a Roth IRA, it's meant to be an investment option. So ideally, you don't want to touch it. Because if you take that money out, that's less money you have working for you and this can really cost you. Because if you take out your contributions, over time, the amount of money you have in your Roth IRA, it could be less due to the lower amounts being invested and growing. But since you can withdraw your contributions without penalty, this could potentially double as your emergency fund if you needed it. Now this could be somewhat controversial because a retirement account should only be used for retirement, right? Maybe, maybe not. And there's also risk of using your Roth IRA as your emergency fund. Because if you decided to put your money into a Roth IRA and invest that money, there is the possibility the market could go down. Which means if you had an emergency and you had to access that money, you actually may have access to less money than you thought. And that's really not a situation you wanna be in if you have an emergency. 
then if by chance you did have to draw multiple years of contributions, you cannot go back and add those contributions from previous years. So for example, let's say in August of this year, you withdrew $10,000 because you lost your job. You cannot go back in and add the contributions you took from 2020, which means you lost those potential gains for good. And this can end up costing you thousands of dollars of growth over the years. Now you could go back in and add for 2021 since we're still in that contribution period. Another consideration is that access to this money, it's not going to be instant. It's going to take a few business days to get access to your money. Between selling your investments and having that investment settle, then transferring it to your bank account, it just takes time, which may or may not be a problem depending on your situation. So should you be using your Roth IRA as your emergency fund? Now, I think a Roth IRA, it could be a part of your emergency fund strategy, but I don't think it should be your only emergency fund. And I've actually changed my own thought on emergency funds to consider more of a hybrid emergency fund approach. And what I mean here is having both a cash emergency fund and a separate account to use as the first line option in the event of emergency and a Roth IRA as my secondary option. And I now keep between three to six months of cash on hand in my emergency fund. This is actually down from one year's worth of cash I used to keep. And anything above that six month mark, I actually funnel it into mine or my wife's Roth IRA. Because by doing that, it allows me to make the year's contributions to our Roth IRAs and let our money work for us, even if there's a risk in doing this. But I do feel that risk is reduced by having three to six months of cash on hand. But in the event we had that level of an emergency and exhausted all of our money, and I absolutely needed to, I could pull the contributions from our Roth IRA without penalty. And realistically, if that were to ever happen, I don't think I would be worried about the growth of my Roth IRA account because that would be a significant emergency to where it would almost become irrelevant for me. But by having a mix of cash on hand and a Roth IRA, I think it would be a good complementary emergency fund approach because I don't solely want to depend on my Roth IRA as an emergency fund as I see it as primarily as a retirement vehicle and not strictly as an emergency fund. It's more of an oh crap, I have to pull from it because I have no other options because I don't wanna pull from my Roth IRA for what I would consider minor emergencies. It's really there for the major ones because that money is meant to work for me so that I can use it later in life. And by taking this hybrid approach, I feel I have enough liquid cash to where I feel secure in the event I were to need it. But I also let more money work for me in the market where I still have access to it if I absolutely needed to get access to it but I don't think it's wrong to keep your emergency fund solely as cash if you wanted to and you feel comfortable with it. Remember, it's personal finance. It's your personal choice to how you wanna handle these things. Now, if you're someone trying to build up your emergency fund and maybe looking for some ways to score some extra cash pretty easily, here are some things that you can do. You can actually look to checking account bonuses and these can be pretty lucrative and you can earn thousands of dollars with these. Now there could be requirements like being required to use direct deposit or maybe a certain number of transactions, but these can really help you increase the cash that you can put into your emergency fund. And I would highly recommend checking out Doctor of Credit for the best checking account bonuses out there on the market. Then you could also look to use cash back credit card rewards to help. Now I'm not saying you should go spend more money to earn more cash back. That's really not how it works and you should not be doing that. But if you were to open a few cashback credit cards for those bonuses, those could be helpful in funding your emergency fund. Or even using the cashback reward that you have earned as well can be a helpful way in building up that fund. Now, it may not be a sexy thing to do with your rewards, but being more secure financially, that's pretty sexy, right? Then to help you build up this fund without even thinking about it, try to automate money that will go to your emergency fund until you hit that goal. That way you don't have to think about it and you don't even see the money in your checking account. Now, I think building an emergency fund is a very important piece of your financial picture because you never wanna be caught in a situation where you aren't prepared. And each person's way of handling an emergency fund is going to be different. But I think having cash on hand is a great first line approach to handling an emergency. And by contributing to your Roth IRA and using it as a secondary emergency fund, you're building towards your future, 
but it can also protect you if your cash reserves were to run dry. Then if you're having trouble building your emergency fund, then look to use checking account bonuses or cash back credit card bonuses to help you fund it because it can be a great way to reduce your stress as well. So let me know, do you use your Roth IRA as your emergency fund? Now, if you're someone looking to build a simple three fund portfolio that's gonna help grow your wealth over time, then be sure to check out this video right here where I break down how you can do just that. And if you know someone that would find this video helpful and useful, feel free to share it with them and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.